Rico needs to lay some waterproof boards on a floor. The floor is in the shape of a rectangle, 720 centimeters by 360 centimeters. The boards are rectangular, 1,200 millimeters by 900 millimeters. Each board costs 14 pounds 99 pence. Rico has 375 pounds to buy the boards to cover the floor completely. Does he have enough money to buy the boards? All right, so the first thing to notice in this question is that the units aren't the consistent, they're not the same. Here, with the floor plan, we're dealing with centimetres, and down here, with the boards, we're dealing with millimetres. So the first thing we need to do is convert them. Now, if you remember that one centimetre is 10 mil... No, actually, I'm going to change colour. That one's awful. Uh, one centimetre is 10 millimetres. Uh, and now we can we can choose for this question whether we want to convert everything into centimeters like the floor like the floor already is or convert it into millimeters like the boards are, already are i think for this one it makes most sense to convert everything to centimeters because otherwise we'll have some really big numbers so if we're converting everything to centimeters to every 10 millimeters is 1 centimeter so if we have something like 900 millimeters we're looking for how many centimeters are in it which is the same as how many lots of 10 are in it so if I come over to my calculator, 900 divided by 10. That's how many lots of 10 millimeters are in it, which is the same as how many centimeters are in it. So 900 millimeters is the same as 90, 90 centimeters. And I'm going to copy that to my working out box as well to show the conversion I'm doing. Uh, and the other, the other dimensions of the boards were 1,200 millimeters. Missed off an M up there. OK, so if we divide that by 10 as well, Uh, 1,200 millimeters is 120 centimeters. So these boards are 120 centimeters by 90 centimeters. Okay, cool. Copy that to my working out box as well. Lovely. So I think the best way to think about this question is to work out how many boards we could fit across. You know, so if we could fit two two boards across, our floor would look like that and how many boards we could fit vertically. So we can chop our whole floor up into a grid and then we can work out how many uh, boards are in the grid and find out how much that would all cost us. So let's say, oh, well, I'll let you in on something. It doesn't actually matter whether we say the boards are 1,200 across or 1,200 up. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. Sorry, just noticed that I rubbed this off. Whoops. Uh, it doesn't actually matter which way around we say the boards are. It doesn't matter if we say, if we say they're like that or if they're like that, because the numbers will work out to be exactly the same. Um, so let's say we're going to fit the boards in this way. Let's say we're going to fit them in vertically, so they're 90 wide and 120 centimetres tall. So uh, first I'm going to ask how many boards we can fit across, and then we'll find out how many boards we can fit up. So we're laying our boards like this. It's going to look something like that. And if they're 90 wide, then to find out how many I can fit across, I need to take the width of my room, which is 720, and divide it into pieces that are 90 wide. So divide it by 90, and that tells me I can fit 8 across. 8 across. Uh, and I've got to copy that to my working out box, make sure that I'm getting all my working out in there. So this is how many boards across. Okay, now we do the same thing vertically. Uh, vertically, our boards are 120 and our room is 360. So we're going to do 360, the height of the room, divided by the height of the boards, uh, and that gives us an answer of 3, which is how many boards high. Okay, so on a picture, roughly, it, our, our room looks something like that. So we've got three rows of boards going across, and we've got eight columns of boards coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ru so, so roughly, that's what our rooms look like when it's split into boards. So if I can fit eight across and three high, or different ways of thinking about it, I can fit in eight columns of three, or three rows of eight. How many boards is that all together? Whichever way you want to think about it, the way to work it out is to do 3 times 8. 3 lots high, 8 lots across, that's 24 boards in total. So again, I'm just going to label this working out box kind of for my benefit. How many boards? Total. 
Next, we need to work out how much it's all going to cost him. Because remember, what we're ultimately trying to find out is whether this much, £375, is enough to cover the cost of all these boards. So, how much are they going to cost? Well, I need 24 boards, and they're £14.99 each. So 24 boards times £14.99. So in total, all the boards are going to cost £359.76. Does he have enough money to buy the boards? He's got 375. We've worked out they're going to cost 359. So does he have enough money? Yes, he does. So to go back to the beginning, what we've just done is we've done the conversion of millimeters into centimeters. We've worked out how many boards we can fit across, how many boards we can fit up with the dimensions of the room and the dimensions of our boards, uh, and worked out that in total we need 24 boards. Each board costs 14.99, so 24 lots of that is how much it'll all cost him. Final thing is to make the decision: does he have enough money? Yes, he does. Six marks.